Hi, welcome to this tutorial on unit vectors. But first of all, what is a unit vector? Well, we've met them before when we've had the vectors i and j. They're unit vectors because the length of them is clearly just one unit. But if we had another vector, let's just say the vector a, which was equal to 3i plus 4j, made up of these two vectors i and j, what would it look like? Well, it would look something like this. Three units in the i direction, four units in the j direction. And it doesn't matter wherever this vector is, its length will always be exactly the same. I can move it around, OK? Let's just put it over here. It just makes what we're going to do a little clearer. Now when it comes to finding the length of this vector, I can use Pythagoras' theorem. I can think of a right angle triangle round here where the length of this side is 3 and the length of this side is 4 units. So using Pythagoras' theorem, the length of the vector a, the modulus as we often say, given by this symbol here, is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the components of our vector a. In this case, 3 squared plus 4 squared. And this comes to the square root of 9 plus 16, the square root of 25, which is 5. So clearly, this isn't a vector that is one unit long. We can see that it's five units long. Now to get a vector that's one unit long in the direction of this vector, I've got to divide this vector by the magnitude here, 5, or find a fifth of this vector. And the symbol for a unit vector is just to put a little circumflex over the top of your vector. And so this will be one fifth of this vector. In other words, we get 3 fifths i plus four-fifths j. And that unit vector would look something like this, where we go three-fifths of a unit in the i direction and four-fifths of a unit in the j direction. The length of this is one unit then. And you could see that this vector should fit into here five times. One, two, three, four, Five. So there's our unit vector A with a little circumflex on the top of it. So basically what we're saying is that to get a unit vector A hat from any vector A, all you need to do is take that vector A and divide it by the magnitude of that vector A. And this is a result that you should try and learn. Now we can use this result not only just for two-dimensional vectors, we can extend it to three-dimensional vectors. Like in this question, where we've got find a unit vector in the direction of the vector 3i minus 4j plus 2k. The method doesn't change. Our formula for finding a unit vector is just to take the vector a and divide by the magnitude. So if we were to say let the vector a be 3i minus 4j plus 2k, then the magnitude of this vector is given by extending Pythagoras' theorem, which is the sum of the squares of the components, 3 squared plus, we can ignore the minus here, 4 squared plus 2 squared. And if you work that out, you'll find you get the square root of 29. And I'll just leave it as the square root of 29. It doesn't square root nicely. So to get the unit vector then, a hat, all we need to do is find 1 over root 29 of this vector, which is going to be 3 over root 29 in the i direction, minus 4 over root 29 in the j direction, and plus 
2 over root 29 in the k direction. So you could leave it like that. You can find that this might even be written in this style as a column vector where we pull out the 1 over root 29. So you're just left with 3 minus 4 and 2 in here. So that's an alternative way that you might see or use. OK, well I hope that's given you some idea then of how we can calculate unit vectors, whether it's in two dimensions or three dimensions, and the notation that we use.